Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome. I wanted to talk to you guys about heartworms. Heart worms. Worms of the heart. If you're new, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and become part of the Birch family where we love having healthy, happy pets. Thankfully, owners have become more aware of heartworm disease. However, there are still hundreds of thousands of dogs that come up heartworm positive every single year and heartworm preventions are safe and affordable and yet we still see all of these heartworm positive animals. So my question is why? And this is just heartworm disease in dogs. I'm not even even talking about all the cats that have heartworms that people aren't even aware about. Cats can get heartworms just as easily as dogs can. It's just a lot harder to test a cat for heartworms than it is a dog. Heartworm disease in cats is a whole nother video subject, but I just want to say giving your cat a monthly heartworm prevention is just as important as giving it to your dog. So I first want to talk about what is a heartworm? How does your dog or cat even get heartworms? A lot of people don't know that heartworms are transmitted by mosquitoes, and even if you're pet doesn't go outside, mosquitoes can still get in your house. Y'all don't sit here and lie to me and tell me that bugs don't get in your house. I can't even tell y'all how many dogs I've seen that are inside dogs only that do test positive for heartworms. Heartworms don't discriminate. They don't care if you're inside only. They coming. They gonna find you. They gonna get you. Now, don't get me wrong. Outdoor animals are definitely more susceptible to getting heartworms than indoor animals, but indoor animals are still at risk to becoming heartworm positive. Another big misconception about heartworms is that a lot of people believe that heartworms are only in warm climates and in the south. Heartworm disease is definitely more concentrated in the south and in warmer climates. However, heartworm infected dogs have been reported in all 50 states. With that being said, you should have your dog tested every single year for heartworms, even if you're on a heartworm prevention. And I'm gonna tell you a little sink ring. They have product guarantees that if your pet does come up heartworm positive, while you have consistently been on their prevention, they will pay for some, if not all, of the treatment of your pet's heartworms. A lot of these companies do require a heartworm test when you first start their prevention. They also do require a heartworm test six months after you start their prevention to guarantee that your pet is truly heartworm negative. Now, this is going to be a touchy subject for some, but a lot of people don't want to give their pets heartworm preventions because it's a chemical and they don't think it's safe, or they've heard terrible stories of pets having reactions or dying or whatever, and I do understand that those are valid concerns, but there are a lot of different heartworm preventions out there that just because your pet had a reaction to one doesn't necessarily mean they're going to have a reaction to all of them. It's very important that you talk with your veterinarian and figure out something that works best for you and for your pet to ensure that they don't get heartworms. And for those of you out there that are still not convinced that it's worth putting your pet on heartworm prevention, I just want to say that yes, baby heartworms are microscopic. However, the adult heartworms can grow to over a foot in length. Could you imagine having a dozen foot-long worms living in your heart. Heartworm infections are devastating on your pet's cardiovascular system, and that's permanent damage that can't be undone. Heartworms are very damaging, and unfortunately, death is not uncommon in heartworm-positive dogs. A lot of people are concerned about prices for heartworm preventions, but if you think about it, a monthly heartworm prevention versus the total cost of a heartworm treatment can cost you thousands of dollars. The reason why it is so expensive is because, one, the medication that is used to treat the adult heart heartworms is very expensive for us to get. Number two, a lot of veterinary clinics do pre-lab work and chest x-rays, very rightfully so, to make sure that your pet is a good candidate for heartworm treatment to see if their heart has been damaged in any way. Have you ever researched exactly what a heartworm treatment is? I will have the links down below to the American Heartworm Society if you want to read up on it, but the medication used to treat heartworms is an arsenic-like chemical and it requires months of exercise restriction. Now, wouldn't it be simpler just to give your pet a monthly heartworm prevention. And while, yes, heartworm treatment does involve a very concentrated chemical, it is necessary to get your dog's heartworm treated. It is so sad to see a dog with heartworms that is dying from heartworms. And if your dog does come up positive for heartworms, I am literally begging you, please get them treated before there's any irreversible damage. They will live such a long, healthy life the sooner you take care of the problem. And just as an added bonus, the product that I use in my dog as a heartworm prevention, I do give her the six-month ProHeart injection. Now, the thing with ProHeart, it 
only does heartworms and it also does do hookworms and that's the only thing that it covers for six months. It does do 68% of whipworms. I learned that recently which I thought was neat. Now for my cat I also use a Zoetis product and I use Revolution. It is a topical which I hate giving to my cat because he hates it but it does do heartworms, fleas, and intestinal parasites and also ear mites. Those are the two products that I use for my animals and I truly love them. I've been using them for years and I've had no problems. All right guys I hope you learned something from this video. If you did make sure that you like this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!